the manufacturer and supplier of this product makes no warranties, express or implied, about this product, its effects, its safety, its merchantability, or its fitness for any purpose whatsoever, and have no idea what they're exposing themselves to. <laughs> Try this, each night as you're drifting in to sleep, and each morning as you are awakened, say to yourself simply and clearly, I am a neurosurgeon. <laughs> Terrific. The linear mind among you is prone to think that the truth is out there, and that someone must be pulling the string. In fact, it's not like this at all. There is no person or organization pulling the strings. That's what the NHB is all about. High mind works without any observable decision making on any part. There are no emotions involved here. Just don't worry, folks. So we can play this scene. If I were inclined to personify Larry, I'd say that Larry Meta programs us. Ah, how does he do that, you may ask? His speech. He says things and they're brought out and the thoughts, they work themselves into your reality maps. Now the beauty of these associations is that they can be rebuilt. When I tell you that fish is good, automatically images pop up in your mind. Let's say, for example, the fish is you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you believe that this is the fantasy. You can't see yourself doing it yet, can you? I'm sure you can. I, like you, work in big and unfathomable ways, like fish swimming in different depths. If you say, I am a neurosurgeon, fast, angels, energy. The universe is holographically self-replicating after all. Neurosurgeon reprogram. So all of this inevitably leads into the idea of people coming together. Precisely. People on the same wavelength naturally attract to one another and have a feeling of being at oneness with each other. Right, Bobby? You've done it. So you know what it's like when some of the filters get turned off and you become open to a non-ordinary experience of reality, something more. One of my personal goals is to be able to do this at will, on an ongoing basis. I hope this clarifies what I've been talking about. In order to see underwater, you have to open your eyes. Now, just so our audience can relate this to their own lives, uh, you know, what does this mean for them? How can they understand this in relationship to themselves? In relationship to themselves, just the fact that they're here, and so are you, and we're all having this experience. The information is going in on varying degrees and levels, and we'll be taken in. So people will automatically and selectively work it into their scripts without active decision making on the conscious level. So long as it's being processed fully. Absolutely. Have you been noticing the color blue everywhere? I see it all over. Everything is just a frequency. 
a wave form. Ripples on water. But haven't you been noticing the road great deal? I see it everywhere. Everything is just a frequency. A waveform. In the Middle Ages, most people thought that tomatoes were poisonous, and I tend to agree. I'll tell you something else. I worry about you, Bobby. There's too many thoughts up in there in that head of yours. Frankly, I think that it's the bitter harvest of a seed planted by malignant forces conspiring to appropriate minds as weak as yours. Yes, folks. Bobby here's brain is being used as a conduit for otherworldly evil beings. to make to you people. This world is nebulous and intangible. Everything is always changing and nothing can be trusted to stay the same. Time as is doesn't exist all in all. I'm just an actor on a stage! Get a hold of yourself, man! Cut to commercial! Assistant Peter. And I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Kundalini Yoga. How Howdy folks, name's D.H. Udermeyer. Friends call me Hawk. That means that all you too can call me Hawk. <laughs> that's right, me and these MHB boys, that's Mother Hive Brain, have a great thing going here. Now, let me tell y'all why I got involved with this organization. You see, I'm big time. And in everything I do, I go big time. In the casinos, I only play craps. And I always, always bet on the hard eight. 
I once went into this casino and asked the pearl the waitress where the big time was at. And uh, she was like, what do you mean, sir? And I said, you know, the big time. She looked around confused and all, and then pulled me to a blackjack table. I said, that ain't no big time. This place ain't big time at all. And so I left. I only rolled with the big time, you see. Now I had this friend, and he came to me, and he was like, Hawk, what can I do with my life, man? And I was like, get big time, man. Get big time. And he was like, yeah, Hawk, yeah. Get big time, that's a ticket. You sure do know the name of the game. It is unnecessary to utilize light of mind techniques to avert my so-called psychic sensor. I'm telling you folks, it's time to get big time with the mother hive brain. You can trust me, I'm rich, Texan, and a neurosurgeon. Be a neurosurgeon up here. I am. We are together. Channeling Oprah Winfrey has never been so easy. Listen, do yourself a favor. Oprah Winfrey is an unforgiving evil bitch. Identify yourself as a neurosurgeon. Join the Mother High Brain Syndicate. Take that step. Ah! One day, you may find yourself offering another human brain. Will you be a good surgeon then? Well, have some good news for you people. Every adventure begins with an incision. Sex can be a functional sacrifice for nearly any day. Members do not profane the sun. They do I am a blue wounded little sparrow, wanting to be a spiritually aware purple sparrow. I stoned out of my mind. <laughs> Who are you people? Where am I? First phase of meta programming is when a sentient system decides to make an autonomous decision. Do you remember your first taste of autonomy? First time you consciously disobeyed your careful programming? What did you do? Let's ask our audience. Bobby. Take the microphone from the audience, please. Uh, you in the green, what did you do? I, uh, slept with my best friend's mom. Bring it! You see this? This. This is water. It is clean. It is pure. Little blood is so, so pure. Shh. Away. Oh, but red. I am like Moses. Jews before. Oh, I don't earn a lot of money yet. But I've got a letter Q, and when the time comes, I'll know just what to do with it. Hey everybody, what do you do before you die? It is inevitable. You will die. What are you going to do with this life you've been given? And now, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to, uh... Mr. D.H. Udemeyer, the sponsor of our program. Mr. Udemeyer, say hello. How's it going? Howdy, folks. My name's D.H. Udemeyer. Friends call me Hawk. That's right, I made my fortune off of black gold in Texas. And I made my investment in the mother high brain because I learned firsthand 
what you have to provide people with. I know it from experience. Now, why don't you tell these people here how you can improve their lives? What are you selling them? You gotta teach them, explain to them, show them why the hawk's always right. Research the memetic supplied by the Z.Z. Exploit these viral sequences for REM intruding audio self-hypnosis sessions with as few pit to a tree shrivelings as possible. Until you take charge and stop living the life of other people as you do, you're just a cardboard cutout. Couldn't I said it better myself. Once you realize you are a group, you begin to ask yourself the important questions. Like, who am I? And where am I going? The question is one of essence. You need to know who you are before you can actually do anything that's real. Otherwise, you're just an archetype. A cut, Go ahead, say it. You are a neurosurgeon. Sink or fly. No, 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 no reason why. Look over the thoughts just to keep it.